just want this to be over. I hate that I feel trapped. I hate what he is doing to me. Sometimes I wish I could just kill him. You didn't tell me Madison was here. Sorry for interrupting. No, no, you, you didn't. I didn't actually mean that I wanted. I know. You know, I was just, I was frustrated. I was venting. I understand. I know what it's like to be trapped in a horrible marriage. Your husband. Henry's weapon of choice was emotional abuse. He convinced me that I was worthless. That if I ever left him, I would just end up alone because no one else would ever want me. Hey, Ems. Oh, uh, excuse me for a second, guys. Hi. I don't get it. I mean, one minute you're on my case for dragging Ryan into my problems, now you're trying to bond with me? Just because I want you like 900 miles from Ryan doesn't mean I don't like you. A weird bird, Madison. Well, I just kind of say what I'm feeling. Yeah, that's weird. Most people don't do that. Maybe they should. The world would be a lot less complicated. I guess it would. You know, I used to think I was just jealous of you, your history with Ryan. But I think it's it's more complicated than that. You know, what you're going through with David, it brought up a lot of bad memories. About your marriage? Come a long way. But I haven't forgotten that feeling of looking at my own husband, who was supposed to love me and cherish me, and hating him for using his own power to keep me down. And I remember thinking, this is it. I'm, I'm trapped in this. I will never escape. But you did. Only because Henry died. How did that make you feel? I bet I know. You felt relief. Right. When Henry died, I did feel relief. I know it sounds awful, but it's true. You had your life back. Oh, I never had a life. But I do now. For the first time, I'm building something real. But you, you, you've already built so much. And David's just trying to take it all away from you. Your freedom, your future. I can understand your wishing him dead. And I can understand you reaching out to Ryan. He's a good guy to have on your side. Hey, sorry that took so long. What did I miss? Girl talk. I should get going. Um, David's gonna be home, waiting for me. No! Don't go back to that man. I have to go home to my husband. You have options. You came here for a reason. I'm fine. You don't have to live like this. It's gonna be okay, Madison. And until it is, for years I lived with a man that I hated out of fear. I pretended to be happy, but I was dying inside. I felt so alone and so powerless. But you're not, Greenlee. No, I'm not. Not when you have friends who care, who want to help you. Is she for real? I'm afraid so. Your boyfriend is trying to help his ex get away from her husband. Now you want to help? You would do the same. Right. <laughs> Look, Greenlee, we're going to get you out of this, OK? We'll get you out of this. We'll get David and, and he you'll means be done. It. Yes, I do. I know he does. And so do I. This is so annoying. <laughs> I really want to hate you. Why? You part of your I need to get going, and I didn't mean what I said. We'll stay for dinner. I have a huge chicken in the oven. She's not kidding. It's 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 large, very large. The chicken. Hopefully it hasn't caught on fire. Excuse me. 